Well, I'm here at Watertown High School, and even though students and teachers are on spring break across the entire district, well, a large-scale multi-agency training exercise is taking place inside the school, giving us all peace of mind, letting us know that school safety never takes a vacation. I didn't know if y'all wanted us to go in there and clear that after that. I know, that was... I know. we were trying to get them out quick enough to give y'all at least a shot to get in there and see what that looked like. They've come from all over the county, including assistance from the TBI and the Department of Homeland Security. The mission is simple. Continue to polish full-scale critical response plans, especially when it involves our schools. Y'all are on opposite sides, and you cover this way, you cover that way. You know, it's a situation where we want to make sure that the left hand knows what the right hand is doing and uh, just working with each other and, and uh, putting out uh, various scenarios in there for them to have to think and, and uh, make sure that they uh, do the best job you know, that, that they can uh, if they do respond to a situation like that. These large-scale training exercises have become more common in recent years as Wilson County has the look of setting the standard when it comes to school safety preparedness. Yes, we want to set the standard. Uh, we want, um, you know, to, to be as proactive as we can to put our officers in a great position should they respond to something like this. But at the end of the day, we want to make sure our students and, and uh, faculty members feel safe. And uh, uh, if that's setting the standard, then that's what we're going to do. Captain Scott Moore with the Wilson County Sheriff's Office helps oversee the SRO program for our schools. You know, Wilson County was one of the first districts in the state to provide SRO staffing for all schools several years ago. But in these training exercises, it takes a team spread across several agencies to complete the ultimate goal of maintaining the highest degree of response and execution possible. One thing that we done was we reached out to the other agencies so we could have this training. And uh, it's just evolved into, uh, I mean, you can look around as far as what uh, all the effort that's been put into it. But uh, again, it's something that, uh, you know, we're going to continue to, you know, improve on. And uh, yeah, we're, you know, we, we've done it so far in uh, Wilson Central High School, Green Hill High School, now Wartown. So uh, the important thing is that we hit up uh, different areas of the county. And then also, uh, I think one thing that you're going to see moving forward is also uh, working at it in different levels of your schools, like your elementary schools and your middle schools. That way we get familiar with every school in the county. Many scenarios were presented for these officers and first responders today and were being evaluated from inside the building and out. Last year when we started this, it was kind of a, a trial run to make sure that everything worked. And then uh, sure enough, everything, as you can see on this screen, you got uh, multiple hallways, you can switch them, you can zoom in and, uh, and then get that information off to the people responding to the scene. Today's exercises were considered a success. A lot of these scenarios we've done in the past, we've ended out in the hallway. This is just adding in an extra layer, right? You got people running out at you. But Captain Moore is quick to point out that improving is always paramount in these training exercises. One thing I've learned over my law enforcement career is there's always room for improvement. And you can never not train enough. Thank you to everyone who participated today. It means so much to our schools, our families, and our communities. I'm Bart Barker for Wilson County Schools.